Peppa Pig Tales. Let's jump in! Today, Peppa and Mummy Pig are riding the bumper cars at Potato City. Can't catch me, Rebecca! <laughs> oh, yes, I can! <laughs> <Meow>. <laughs> Come on, Peppa! We found a new ride! It's a water ride! <laughs> I love Splashy Rides. Splashy? Mummy Pig isn't sure she loves Splashy Rides. Uh, why don't we go on a ride without Splashes? Like, uh, oh, this bench. Ooh, what fun. Whee! <laughs> we can go on that after. Come on, Mummy. Everyone has arrived at the new water ride. Celery stick falls. Uh oh! Stop! <laughs> oh, it is very splashy. Very, very splashy. Splashy! <laughs> <laughs> Adults in the front, please. That means you, Mummy Pig, right here. Oh, right. Um, okay. Enjoy the ride! Hooray! <laughs> oh. oh, this is quite lovely! Whoa. The ride is going very high up! Splash, splash, splash! We all love to splash! Uh, uh, not everyone loves to splash! You who? <laughs> Would you like a small splash, a big splash, or a humongous splash? Um, a humongous splash, please! Yeah! No. Okie dokie! Ready? Yeah! No. Five against one. Off you go! The celery stick falls are very fast and very splashy. There we are. Nice and dry. Oh, not again! Yay! <laughs> Yay! That was amazing! <laughs> and very, very splashy! <laughs> Mummy, what are you doing? The splashes were amazing! Let's go again! Now Mummy Pig loves humongous splashes. Everyone loves humongous splashes. Watch out! Today, Peppa and her friends are at the water park. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Miss, Miss Rabbit. Rabbit. Before you all go swimming, I have some important rules to teach you. Miss Rabbit is telling everyone how to be safe in the swimming pool. The first rule is no splashing. <laughs> no splashing, Mr Bull. Whoops. Sorry, Pepper. Sorry, Miss Rabbit. That's OK, Mr Bull. The second rule is no running. <laughs> Silly Mr Bull, no running. Sorry again. Mr Bull doesn't know any of the rules. And the last rule is everyone must have a simply splendid time. Oh, oh. Have a splendid time, Mr. Bull. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Right you are, Peppa. Enjoy the pool, everyone. What shall we do first? Let's go on the water slide. Hooray! Everyone is very excited to ride the water slides. <laughs> Hello again. Who wants to go down the slide? Me! <laughs> well, you're in luck. There is one slide for each of you. Let's have a race. 
good idea. Lucky I brought my flag. On your marks, get set, go! And Danny Dog zooms into the lead, followed by Pepper. Then it's Gerald Giraffe and Susie Sheep coming up behind. It's incredibly close. Water slide racing at its best. Hello, Danny. Hello, Mr. Bull. <laughs> oh. Finish line! It's neck and neck! Who will come out on top? It's... A draw! Everybody wins! Peppa and her friends love the slides, but they have forgotten the first rule of the water park. Uh -huh. <coughs> no splashing! <laughs> Wow! Today, Peppa and her family are visiting the arcade. Well done! You got a high score. That's because Peppa and I are experts at all of these games. Look at all these tokens, Peppa. If you collect lots of these, you can trade them in for a huge prize. Wow, a prize? Squeak! Look at all these tokens! <laughs> can we play that game next? Of course, Peppa. Mummy Pig is showing Peppa how to play Carrot Bop. She is bopping the carrots whenever they pop up. Would you both like to have a go? Yes, please. More token. Does this mean we can get a really big prize, Daddy? Daddy? <laughs> Daddy Pig is playing the dancing game. Daddy Pig loves dancing. Wow. I'm a bit of an expert at dancing, you know. Your turn, Pepper. Yay! Phew, that was fun. But is there a game we can play all together? I know just the game. <laughs> Peppa and her family are playing a balloon game. Whoever fills their balloon with water first wins. Did we get another high score? Yes, your score was so high that you have all won the jackpot. Now you can trade in all your tokens for a huge prize. Let's go! Hello again, Peppa. Here are all our tokens. Can we please have our prize? Of course. With this many tokens, you can get a marvellous, extraordinary, one-of-a-kind pencil. Hooray! A pencil! Peppa loves winning lots of tokens with her family at the arcade. And Peppa really loves her brand new pencil. <laughs> Today, the cruise has stopped on an island, so Peppa and Granny Pig can go surfing. Oh. But there aren't mm. any waves. Where did all the waves go? It looks like the water is too calm for surfing today, Peppa. You can help me and George collect shells instead, if you like. Shiny! Whee! Hi! Oh, hello, everyone! What? I have a little paddle boat if you want to try it, Peppa. Oh. Ooh! Peppa is very <laughs> excited to try the paddle boat. Mm -hmm. Yes, please! <laughs> a 
and Granny Pig can ride with me on my jet ski. Oh. But um, Granny Pig isn't sure she'll uh, enjoy Miss Rabbit's jet ski. Uh, Pepper and Granny Pig have put on some life jackets oh. and helmets to keep safe. <laughs> now they are ready to ride on the water. Pepper's paddle boat has pedals to make it go. That's right, Pepper. Pedal forwards to make the boat move forward. <laughs> Does it go Off any we go. <laughs> Wait for me. <laughs> Have you found any colourful <laughs> shells, George? <laughs> oh, <laughs> this one's perfect. <laughs> Wonderful! George is finding lots of <laughs> shells on oh. the beach. <laughs> How about we use the shells to make a picture? Pepper is having lots of fun out on the water. <laughs> Granny! Granny's going in purple. But Granny Pig is looking rather seasick. <laughs> George has made a dinosaur out of shells. Ooh, dinosaur! How clever! It just needs one more special shell for the eye. Oh. <laughs> Shiny! Well <laughs> done, George. <laughs> Miss Rabbit's wave has washed George's shells back into the sea. Hello. Oh. Hello, Grandpa. Oh, dear. <laughs> but look, your special shiny shell is still here. Shiny! Wow, I like your sand dinosaur picture, George. George's <laughs> shells have left a dinosaur shape in the sand. Dinosaur! Pepper loves having fun at the beach. Everyone loves having fun at the beach. A super strike for a super bowler. Today, Susie Sheep is having a bowling party. <laughs> I want to get a super strike too. I know how to do it. I've been bowling lots of times. Then you can show everyone what to do, Peppa. Okay. We should take our pictures for the scoreboard. <laughs> Just step in front of the camera and say cheese. Cheese! Perfect. This is your bowling lane. Ooh. Now you shoot the bowling ball. Then you throw it straight ahead. Like this. to try. I like this one. The pink ball is very heavy. <laughs> try this one instead. It's lighter. Whoa. Hmm. Oh. Crikey! Anyone lost a ball? Oh, no. I'll try next. Pedro Pony's ball has gone into the gutter at the side of the lane. Whoops! My turn. Whoa! Susie Sheep, Pedro Pony and Gerald Giraffe haven't quite got the hang of bowling yet. Don't worry. We need to find a better way to play. Hmm. Why don't you try with the barriers up this time? It's another fun way to play. Try, Pedro. Okay, but I don't want my bowling ball to bounce. No problem. You can use a ramp to help the ball roll in a straight line. <laughs> oh, this is fun! <laughs> Yay! Peppa and her friends are having lots of fun bowling in their own ways. <laughs> But Susie Sheep still wants to get a super strike. All right, everyone. It's your last bowl. 
Good luck! <laughs> What's this? Susie's sheep is bowling backwards. Oh. <gasps> a super strike for a super bowler! Susie Sheep has got a super strike. Susie Sheep loves bowling. Everyone loves bowling. Today, Peppa and her family are going on the night train to a very far away seaside. It's bedtime now. We can play with the beach ball tomorrow at the beach. But I don't want to go to sleep. Well, we're not going to sleep yet. We're having a sleepover. Yay! Peppa and George <laughs> love sleepovers. Can we have a midnight feast? You need to have a midnight feast at a sleepover, Daddy. It's the rules. Right you are. Follow me. Hooray! <laughs> Everyone has come to the dining carriage to get the midnight feast. Hello! Oh! Hello! What would you like? We'd like a midnight feast, please. One! <gasps> midnight feast coming up! Here you go! Fruit and warm milk. Perfect before a good sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you! you. Everyone tucks into their midnight feast, gives their teeth a good brush, and gets comfy in bed. Can we have a bedtime story? Oh, okay, Peppa. Just one story, and then sleep. Hooray! This is the story of the magic night train. Ooh! Once upon a time, there was a magic night train, which didn't need train tracks because it could fly. <gasps> Yay! Peppa had a wonderful dream about a magical night train. Look, we arrived at the seaside. Peppa and her family have arrived at the very far away seaside, and they all enjoyed their train sleepover. Today, Peppa and her friends are going to the sweet shop. Hello, Miss Rabbit. I'd like to buy everything in the sweet shop, please. Here is my coin. Peppa and her friends each have one coin to buy a sweet with. Here is my coin too. And mine. And mine. Wow, what a lot of money. But I'm afraid it's not enough to buy everything in the shop. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> One coin is perfect for trying my new sweet-making machines, though. Ooh. Just choose a machine, pop your coin in the slot and push the big red button. Mmm! Strawberry laces! Nay! But strawberries are fruits, not sweets! My sweets are made with delicious real fruit. Much tastier and much healthier! Yummy strawberries! They look like hair! <laughs> You're right! I've got a strawberry ponytail! <laughs> <laughs> my turn! My turn! Emily Elephant has found a rainbow lollipop machine. 
For this machine, you have to push the buttons to choose your favourite fruity flavours. Hmm. Yellow banana. Ooh, you love red apples. And pink raspberries. And blue blueberries. And green apples. <laughs> <laughs> you like all the flavours. <laughs> <laughs> That's a candy floss machine. Why don't you pop your coin in and give it a go? Oh. Mm, it tastes like coconut. <laughs> it looks just like you, Susie. And now it looks even more like you. <laughs> <gasps> what is that? Only one way to find out. But I thought this was a sweetie machine, not a money machine. <gasps> Can I use this to buy some real sweeties? You don't need to. That coin is a sweetie pepper. It's a chocolate coin. Chocolate! Hooray! <laughs> Peppa loves a sweet treat from the sweet shop. Everyone loves a sweet treat from the sweet shop. <laughs> Today, Peppa and George are at a fun fair. <laughs> Hi, Peppa. Have you been in the fun house yet? What's a fun house? It's a special fun fair house that has lots of silly rooms and funny hallways. <laughs> Can me and George go into the fun house? Please? Please? Hello, Miss Rabbit. <laughs> Two for the fun house. To enter the fun house, Mummy Pig must buy tokens from Miss um... Rabbit. But the tokens cost more coins than Mummy Pig thought. Oh. Thank you, Mummy Pig. Right this way. <laughs> Yay! Ooh! This is the rickety rackety bridge. Pass through to see the rest of the fun house. <laughs> Pepper is moving very slowly and carefully across the bridge. But George thinks it's fun to go very fast. <laughs> Your way is much better, George. Whee! <laughs> Congratulations! Now you need to follow the arrows. This way, George. <laughs> These mirrors are so wobbly. The funhouse mirrors make <laughs> Peppa and George look very silly indeed. This mirror makes me look so tall. And you look like you have a very big head, George. <laughs> that one makes you look really round. Round! And this mirror makes me look like Miss Rabbit. That's because I am Miss Rabbit. <gasps> <laughs> Follow me to the twisty, turny tunnel. <laughs> The Funhouse Tunnel spins round and round. Ooh! And it's very windy. <laughs> Look! After the tunnel, we get to go down the slide. Slide! I'll help you, George. <laughs> I wonder what's taking so long. I hope they're not lost. <laughs> How was it? The fun house was really fun. How fitting. Everyone <laughs> loves the fun house because the fun house is very... Today, Peppa and her family are exploring an air show. Miss Rabbit is flying a hot air balloon. The sky is full of hot air balloons. Wow, there's so many of them. A cloud, a broccoli, a clown. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good, George. What's that? 
That is a biplane, Pepper. What is it doing? Some planes can write messages or draw in the sky. The biplane has drawn a picture of Pepper in the sky. It's me. Hello, everybody. Hello, Hello Doctor, Doctor Hamster. Hamster. Thank you for the sky picture. You're very welcome. <laughs> Off I go. What's this? Is that another hot air balloon? This is a blimp. It floats like a balloon but has little propellers that help it fly along like a plane. Pepper and George think the blimp is very exciting. Would you all like a ride? Blimp, blimp, blimp! blimp. The blimp is taking off into the sky. We're so high up! This is the captain's announcement. In the sky, you'll see a bird. Hello, birds. A cloud. Hello, clouds. Oh, and Dr. <gasps> Hamster. Hello again. There's so many buttons. Oh, yes. It takes lots of work to pilot a blimp like this. So please don't press any buttons. Um... <laughs> This steering wheel helps move the blimp in different directions. Up and down and side to side. <laughs> and the radio Ooh. lets us make announcements to the whole air show. Ooh, can I make a pronouncement? I have a very important pronouncement to make. Of course. <clears throat> Hello, I'm Peppa Pig. I'm in a blimp. Which is a bit like a balloon, but also a plane. <laughs> I hope you all have a lovely time at the air show. Oh dear, we've forgotten one very important thing. A pilot hat for Pepper and George. I'm Pilot Pepper. Pilot! Pepper loves the air show. Everyone loves the air show. Pepper and her family are flying in an aeroplane. Yay! I love flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> but not everyone loves flying in aeroplanes. <laughs> oh, hello, Madam Gazelle. George and I love flying. <laughs> Do you love it too? Actually, I have never been on an aeroplane before. And I am scared. Huh? Oh! oh. Hmm. Oh, I know what to do. Miss Rabbit, please can you make the plane go really, really high? I don't see why not. Oh. It's really fun when the plane goes high, Madam Gazelle. Look, we're nearly in space. Oh. Can we go lower instead, Miss Rabbit? Certainly. Oh! Whee! <laughs> oh! Too low! Far too low! Hmm. Let's do a loop de loop. <laughs> I don't think that worked either, George. Look, Madam Gazelle, oh. that cloud is shaped like a bird. Do you see? Yes, I see. Ooh. And that one is shaped like a relaxing desert island. Dinosaur! Oh. <laughs> oh, it's no good. I will just close my eyes and wait for this to be over. Oh, dear. Hello. Would you two like an activity book? They're lots of fun. Ooh. Oh, yes, please. Would you like to oh. do some colouring in with us, Madam Gazelle? Well, I suppose that might keep my mind off things. 
And so Pepper, George and Madame Gazelle did some relaxing colouring for the rest of the flight. Look at these! The line work! The attention to detail! Incredible! A star plus! Oh, hooray! We've landed! Whee! Already? But I was having fun! That wasn't scary at all! I told you, flying is really fun! Thank you for helping me, Peppa and George. Now I cannot wait to fly home. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her class are going on a school trip. Hello, everyone. Who's ready for a school trip in my lovely new yellow bus? Oh, oh what happened to your old blue bus, Miss Rabbit? It broke down at the weekend whilst I was taking a nice relaxing drive. Oh dear, Miss Rabbit's bus is unable to race. So it's in the garage for some small repairs. That bus is going to need some big repairs. <laughs> Peppa and her friends have never been on a big yellow bus before. Seatbelt check. Check. Then off we go. <laughs> Whoops. Let's try again. Miss Rabbit isn't used to driving the yellow bus. The yellow bus Ooh. is a bit fast for Madame Gazelle. Miss Rabbit, can the yellow bus play music? The yellow bus can do lots of things. It can do this, this, oh. this, oh. and of course this. Yay! The yellow bus can play music very loudly. Could we turn the music down a little bit? Of course, Madame Gazelle. Why don't we sing a song instead? The yellow bus wheels go round and round. Round and round, round and round. round, and round. The yellow bus wheels go round, round and round all day long. <laughs> Let's play I Spy. Good idea. I spy with my little eye something beginning with R. Road. Nope. Rabbit! Nope, it's a really big lorry! Whoa! Hello, Mr. Ball! Hello! Peppa's playgroup have arrived for their school trip, so it's time to get off the bus. Oh, I wish we could stay on the yellow bus all day. Don't worry! I'll be back in the bus to take you all home later. Everyone likes riding in the big yellow bus. Everyone except Madame Gazelle. <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends have come to a special adventure park. Come on, Edmund. You can do it. It's really fun. <laughs> Oh, well done, Edmund. Yay! <gasps> this room has a balance beam. You have to walk across <laughs> it without falling into the ball pit. If you all keep working as a team, you'll get all the way through without falling into the ball pits. I'm good at balancing. Follow me. Now, George... Pepper and Edmund Elephant must cross the balance beam. But Edmund is finding the balance beam a bit difficult. Try going sideways, Edmund. We can do it together. Hooray! Everyone has made it across the balance beam. 
Now they must swing across this room. This looks tricky. It's just like the swing in the park, Emily. Watch this. Whee! Pepper is very good at swinging. Hooray! Hold on tight, George. Whee! <laughs> Here you go, Edmund. But Edmund Elephant is feeling a little nervous about it. Why don't we go together, Edmund, as a team? Good idea! Whee! Hooray! We did it! Thank you, Emily. Everyone has made it across the big swing. Good teamwork, everyone. One room to go. <laughs> This is the final Whoa. room, but there is no way across the ball pit. We can't jump that far. And there's nothing to swing on. Ho, ho, ho. This room is a bit of a puzzle. <gasps> Nobody knows how to solve the puzzle and get across. Oh. I've got it. But Edmund Elephant is very <gasps> good at puzzles. <laughs> A clever clogs, you know. <laughs> Everyone has made it through the adventure park. That was very clever, Edmund. Edmund? And Edmund Elephant can't wait to do it all over again. Today, Peppa and her family have come to London to watch Super Potato, the musical. Goodness, we better get walking or we'll miss the start of the show. Oh no, we're going to get all wet. Not to worry, we can take the underground train instead. Hooray! The underground train is underground. <laughs> it never rains underground. <laughs> And there is a colourful map that shows where all the trains go. It looks like spaghetti. So, we are here. And we need to get here. We can take the blue train first, and then... Take the red train. Yes! Well done, Pepper. Off we go! First, Peppa must have her ticket checked by the ticket barrier. <laughs> Thank you, ticket robot. I'm stuck. Hold tight, Peppa. I'll get you out. Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This way, Peppa. Follow the blue line, everyone. Um, I'm stuck too. <laughs> The train is arriving at the platform from a very dark tunnel. The train is very, very busy. Why is everybody rushing? They are in a hurry. Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. On we go. Watch your step, everyone. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard the blue train. Mind the doors. Hold on, Pepper. The underground train is very bumpy. <laughs> on your left, you'll see under the ground. And on your right, you'll see even more under the ground. Change here for the red train. The red train? That's us. Watch your step, George. Hold tight, everyone. <laughs> we're here, we're here. The show starts in a few minutes. We might miss the beginning. Oh, no, you won't. Follow me. I'll get you to Super Potato the Musical on time, or my name isn't... Super Potato! Hooray! Big celebrity coming through! Make way for the star, thank you! <laughs> no autographs today! Super Potato is in a hurry, too. 
Everyone on the underground train is in a hurry. Today, Peppa and her family have been at the supermarket. Outside the supermarket is a toy machine. Yay! Ooh! Mandy Mouse has got a toy. Look, Mummy! A yo-yo! Well done, Mandy. Peppa, George, would you like a go on the toy machine? Yes, please. How does it work, Miss Rabbit? You just buy a token and put it in the slot. Then a ball rolls all the way down to the bottom of the machine and there's a <laughs> special surprise toy inside. Dinosaur! George would like to get a dinosaur toy. How fun! You can have one try each. Here you go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> George's token makes the machine light up and play music. A ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. Whoa! Dinosaur! Oh. George has got a toy screwdriver. A screwdriver! How useful! Dinosaur! Don't worry, George. I'll try to get the dinosaur too. Now, Peppa's token makes the machine light up and a different ball rolls all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> oh. Peppa hasn't got the dinosaur, but she has got some very nice stickers. Dinosaur! What lovely toys you got. <gasps> but look, our ice cream is starting to melt. So close. I have a feeling the dinosaur will come out next time. <laughs> Please, can we have one more go, Mummy? Please! Oh, go on then. <laughs> one more try. Hooray! Peppa and George pull the lever on the toy machine. But this time, no balls pop out. Oh! <laughs> Oh dear, I wanted to see what toy you were going to get. Not to <gasps> worry, Mummy Pig. I can fix it. I just need to find my screwdriver. Nope. Nope. Screwdriver! <gasps> ah, thank you, George. <gasps> <gasps> Yay! <gasps> Whoops! Miss Rabbit has fixed the machine too much. Now all the balls have fallen out. I'd better put these back, but I think you earned this for helping me fix the machine. <gasps> Dinosaur! <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rabbit. This is for you. Eh? <laughs> Everyone loves the toy machine and George really loves dinosaurs. Today, Mummy Pig is going for a relaxing day at the spa. <laughs> oh, sorry Mummy Pig, I've got to close early today. I've got the sniffles. Oh, I was really looking forward to my spa day. Why don't we make a spa at home? Oh, that's a great idea, Peppa. Peppa is very good at having ideas. Hello, Mrs Mummy. Welcome to the spa. Oh! <laughs> Peppa has turned the living room into a very wow. special spa. First we are going to, um... What happens at the spa, Mummy? Well, we normally start with a nice cup of lemon water. I can do that. I'll get you some lemony water, <laughs> Mrs Mummy. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> oh. Mmm. Thank you, Peppa. This is the lemoniest water I've ever seen. What's next? Next, I'd like to have a foot bath. Yay! Hooray! What's a foot bath? It's a very small bath just for your feet. OK, <laughs> time for your very small bath just for your feet, Mrs Mummy. Come on, Daddy. <laughs> Peppa and Daddy Pig are making their very own <laughs> foot bath. This ought to do the trick. <laughs> Ah, that's so relaxing. 
Peppa has turned the foot bath into a regular bath. <laughs> Here are the boats you ordered, Miss Peppa. <laughs> you have to have bubbles and toys in the bath. <laughs> Wonderful! <laughs> I'll suggest this to Miss Rabbit. What's next, Mummy? Next, it's time for a massage. Uh, um... Here, lie down on the sofa and I'll show you how it works. Peppa finds the massage very tickly. Your turn, Mummy. Ooh, <laughs> it's <laughs> very different to my normal massage. It's a special Peppa massage. Choo-choo! <laughs> Now, the last thing I do at the spa is have a mud mask, which is... A mask made of mud! Yes, a special spa mud that's good for your skin. I don't think we have any special spa mud here, though. I've got an idea. Pepper is very, very good at having ideas. We don't need spa mud when we've got muddy puddles! <laughs> <laughs> They're just like muddy puddle face masks. <laughs> Peppa loves a spa day, especially when it involves jumping in muddy puddles. Today, Peppa and George are playing grown-ups. Oh gosh, oh gosh, where is my bag and my hat? We're off to work now, Mummy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and what job do you think you'd enjoy when you're grown up? George wants to be a dinosaur. Hmm, I think I would enjoy being a dentist. Then I will make sure everyone's teeth are nice and healthy. Hmm, interesting. Uh, 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 all right. You've got lots of clean teeth, Mummy. Oh. Here's a sticker for being so brave. Don't forget to brush your teeth. Who's next? <gasps> <laughs> Silly George. Dinosaurs don't go to the dentist. <laughs> they go to Dr Hamster the vet. <laughs> but you can have a sticker anyway. <laughs> I think you'd make a very good dentist. Dinosaur! <laughs> and you'd be an excellent dinosaur, George. But I'd also like to be a bus driver. Then I could take all my friends to the park. Tickets, please. Next stop, <laughs> the park. Stop! <gasps> You forgot us! Come back! <laughs> vroom! Vroom! <laughs> you have to stop at all the bus stops if you want to be a bus driver, Peppa. Oops, <gasps> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think you'd be a brilliant bus driver, Peppa. But I don't just want to be a dentist and a bus driver. I also want to be a teacher. Oh. Then I'll teach everybody how to paint. You can paint a butterfly using handprints like this. <gasps> Dinosaurs don't go to school, George. Perhaps you could open a school for dinosaurs. But when I'm grown up, I also want to jump in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> and George will be a dinosaur. And they will always love jumping in muddy puddles, even when they are grown up or dinosaurs. Today, Peppa is playing with her toy blocks. <gasps> Careful, George. This is a very small town and you're a very giant dinosaur. That gives me an idea. Do you want to play giants, George? 
<laughs> George is very excited to play Giants with Pepper. Hello, Police Officer Panda. What a lovely, quiet, normal day in Toyland. <laughs> and definitely no sign of... <gasps> Hello, I am Giant Pepper. <gasps> a giant! Two giants! <laughs> Peppa and George are imagining their giants in a pretend <laughs> toy block world. Hello, birds! Hello, clouds! <gasps> Hello, everyone! <gasps> Bear, our ball is stuck in that very tall tree. We can help you with that. We are very tall giants. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> oh, careful, George. <laughs> there you go, Susie. <laughs> Hooray! Giant Pepper and Giant George <laughs> love to help their friends in Thailand. <gasps> They help the passengers Whee! to get on the bus. Oh, wee! <laughs> wee! Wee! <laughs> and help the boats go very, very fast. <laughs> Stop! <gasps> it's the bridge you broke earlier. Oh. Don't worry. We can fix it. Peppa and George are experts with toy blocks. They fix the toy bridge in no time at all. Thanks, Giant Peppa and Giant George. Stop! Uh, I mean, go! Hooray! Hooray! Oh, goody! Hungry. I'm hungry too. The food in Toyland is too small for Giant Pepper and Giant George. Whoa! Dinner time! Hooray! So they will have to have real food <gasps> instead. Careful, George! <laughs> Peppa Pig Tails! Let's jump in! Today, Peppa and George are helping Daddy Pig tidy some old boxes. <laughs> What's this, Daddy? Ah, that's my trusty old camera, Peppa. You press the button to take a picture. Cheese! And it prints the photo out. Look, I can see it. Can I have a go, please? <laughs> Say cheese! Cheese! Now Peppa is taking photos with the camera. This camera is really fun. Camera! Have fun! But there isn't much photo paper left, so use it wisely. George loves taking lots of photos. <laughs> oh dear, it's run out of photo paper. Oh, but I love taking pictures. Hmm. Why don't we use my phone's camera instead? It can even add filters to a photo. <laughs> Daddy Pig's phone camera has given George a pretend moustache. <laughs> Come on, George. Let's take more photos. Peppa and George are having lots of fun taking pictures. The phone camera has given Mummy Pig a flowery filter. Say cheese! Oh! And Grandpa Pig has a very fine hat. <laughs> Pepper, George and Daddy Pig have come to the park to take even more photos. <laughs> Hello, Mr and Mrs Bird. Oh. <laughs> Say cheese, Mr. Bull. Cheese! <laughs> what a funny photo! Daddy Pig 
wants to take a photo with Pepper and George by the ducks. Say cheese, everybody. One, two, three, cheese! <laughs> <laughs> Peppa and George are sticking all the photos from the day into a scrapbook. Look at this one, George. Bye! But some of the photos are blurry. Oh. The photos don't have to be perfect. They just have to remind you of a lovely day. Everyone loves taking photos and everyone has had a very lovely day. And her family have bought lots of food at the supermarket. And now they have very rumbly tummies. <laughs> What's for dinner? My tummy's making lots of noises. Tonight we're making tacos. Yay! What's a tacto? And how do you make them? <laughs> It's a delicious food from Mexico. And the best way to make tacos is all together. Pepper, George and Mummy Pig are washing vegetables for their tacos. Let's make sure the vegetables are nice and clean. Splish, splash, wish, wash, wash the veggies clean. Splish, splash, wish, wash, wash the veggies clean. <laughs> <laughs> now, Pepper and Mummy Pig are nice and clean too. Now the vegetables are clean, we can carefully slice some onions. Here you go, Daddy. <laughs> What's wrong, Daddy? Don't you like onions? Oh, don't worry, Pepper. <laughs> The juice from the onion sometimes makes your eyes water. I just need something to cover my eyes. I know. Pepper knows a perfect way to protect their eyes from the onions. These are perfect, Pepper. Ah, onions again, Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> now we'll make some guacamole. Hooray! I love guacamole. Then you can mash the avocado, Pepper. Pepper likes <laughs> mashing the avocado. It's very fun and messy. Oops! <laughs> Perhaps try a bit more gently, Pepper. Perfect! Now we mix in other ingredients. And add a very special squeeze of lime. Squeeze! <laughs> All right, George. You can add the special squeeze. Oh, it's a good job I'm wearing my safety goggles. <laughs> now all the ingredients are ready, it's time to put the tacos together. This is the best bit. Take your tortilla, like this. And add your favourite ingredients. Peppa likes her taco with lots of guacamole. George likes his taco empty. Mummy and Daddy Pig like their tacos with everything. Mm. Everyone thinks the tacos are very tasty. <gasps> but they've all dropped their filling. Hooray! Now we can put them together again. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Peppa and her friends are at a go-kart track. Hello, everybody. Who's ready to race go-karts? Me! 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 Oh! Me! Peppa and her friends put on their race suits. Red is my favourite colour. Ooh. And don't forget your safety helmets. Now, let's pick your go-karts. Yay! <laughs> Danny Dog has put his helmet on backwards. <laughs> <laughs> now, the pedals make the go-kart go And the brakes make it stop And the steering wheel helps the go-kart turn It's just like riding a bike Why don't you all give it a try and start pedalling slowly? I drive a big car all the time. A go-kart should be easy. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, dear. 
I think I went a little bit too fast. Now, how do I turn around? <laughs> the go-kart race has begun. <laughs> this is fun! But Susie Sheep is pedalling backwards. Try pedalling forward, Susie. Forward? Oh! <laughs> Danny Dog is pedalling very quickly. <laughs> Remember to use the brake, Danny. <laughs> huh? Mummy Pig is having trouble making her go kart go. Let's see. This makes it go backwards. Do you need help, Mummy Pig? Oh, no, thank you, Miss Rabbit. I'm sure I can do it. My go-kart is too wiggly. Peppa is driving all over the racetrack. Turn the steering wheel more gently, Peppa. Oh, much better. Peppa and her friends like driving around the racetrack in their go-karts. There we go. Whee! And Mummy Pig has finally got her go-kart moving. <laughs> Time's up! Well done, everybody! Hooray! But the go-kart race has finished. Oh. Peppa and her friends love racing go-karts. Hello, everybody! <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have come to a concert of Madame Gazelle's band, the Rocking Gazelles. I can't see anything. How about now? Hooray! Thank you. <laughs> oh dear. Gerald Giraffe is also on his daddy's shoulders and is blocking everyone's view. Oh! George. Gerald and his daddy have moved to the side, so now everyone can see. <laughs> With a one and two and one, two, three, four. Yay! Everyone is having a wonderful time. Peppa and Daddy Pig are really enjoying the music. Are you having fun, Peppa? Yes. Are you having fun, George? George? Peppa and Daddy Pig have accidentally ended up in the middle of the crowd. We'll come and find you soon, Mummy Pig. What? I said we'll come and find you soon. But I don't need a spoon. Have fun, George. Whee! Everyone is dancing. It's like being in a big dancing swimming pool. Ho, ho, ho. There are even some inflatable beach balls. Got it! Well done, Peppa! Thank you! Thank you! <gasps> oh. Oops! Sorry, Mr. Bull. Sorry, Madam Gazelle. Not to worry! Happens all the time! That's okay? I love pop music. In fact, it reminds me of my next song. One, two, three, four. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping, bubbles, popping away. Mummy and George Pig have danced all the way to the front of the concert, too. Madame Gazelle has invited Peppa and her family to join them on stage. <laughs> pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping away. Pop, pop, popping bubbles, popping bubbles, popping bubbles all day. Hooray! Yay! Everyone loves Madame Gazelle's concert, and everyone really loves pop, pop, popping bubbles. Ooh. And that 
that's how you play shuffleboard. My puck landed at the bottom, so I get one point. Wow. Today on the cruise, Peppa and her family are <laughs> learning to play shuffleboard. Now, Grandpa Pig can either knock my puck away or slide his into the triangle and get points. Let's give it a go. Grandpa Pig has knocked Granny Pig's puck into George's sand. That's two points for me. Can I try next? Yes, use this cue stick and push the puck into the triangle. Hmm. Oh, it didn't move very much. Why don't you try giving yourself a running start? Good idea. Pepper is taking a big runner. But the sand is very slippery. <laughs> I didn't get any points. Not to worry. It's about having fun, not scoring points. Besides, no one is an expert their first time. <laughs> well done, show. George. I'll <laughs> just have to keep trying. <laughs> Peppa is trying lots of different ways of sliding the puck. Whoa! Oh, my ice cream! Uh -huh. But oh. nothing seems to be working. <laughs> At least you missed my ice cream cone this time. Oh, oh dear. My turn, Peppa. Here you go, Granny. <sniffs> ah. Granny's puck has pushed Peppa's puck into the triangle. I got three points. Hooray! Peppa <laughs> is very excited ah. to keep practicing. But there are no pucks left to play with. Oh. <laughs> George has used them to complete his sandcastle. Everyone loves playing shuffleboard, but George loves making sandcastles even more. Peppa and her family are taking baby Alexander on the Ferris wheel, but he isn't very happy. What's that smell? Hmm, it's baby Alexander. He needs a nappy change. But we're at the front of the queue for the Ferris wheel. Ooh, hold your noses, everyone. Boo! This Ferris wheel smells terrible. Sorry, Peppa, but it's our job to look after baby Alexander. If we help now, we can play later. Yes, baby Alexander needs our help. That's the spirit. Now let's go and look for a nappy changing station. Oh, that's better. Not here. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Definitely not here. <laughs> Ooh, here. Well done, Peppa. We found the nappy changing station. First, we have to take off the dirty nappy and put it in the bin. Um, where is the bin? Hmm. Ooh. Here it is, Daddy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 
Now we must wash our hands. Add a dab of cream. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Whoops! Sorry, Peppa. Now, finally, a clean nappy. Can I do this bit, Daddy? Of course, Peppa. There. All better. That was so fun. I've never changed a nappy before. You did very well, Peppa. But do you know what's even more fun than changing a nappy? <laughs> Welcome to the ice cream shop. It is a very hot day. So Peppa and George are playing ice cream shop. Here you go, Mr. Daddy Pig. Oh, thank you. What would you like, Mrs. Mummy Pig? I'd like a banana split, please. Hooray! Ooh! What's a banana split, Granny? <laughs> it's a type of dessert. First, we need to cut a banana in half. Nana! Oh! Ho, 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 ho! Now we add ice cream, cherries and whipped cream. Ah. George <laughs> likes adding the ice cream. Careful! Don't squish the banana. Ah. <laughs> and Peppa really likes mm. adding whipped cream. Don't forget ah. the cherry on top. Ah. Here is your oh. banana split, Mrs. Mummy Pig. <laughs> this looks delicious. Oh. Please, could I have a Knickerbocker Glory? Uh -huh. A Knockanory? What's that, madam? Ho, ho, ho. Uh -huh. It's a type of ice cream sundae. Can you only eat them on Sundays? Oh. Ho, ho. Not that type of sundae. You can eat them any time. Uh -huh. I'll show you. Uh -huh. We need ice cream, fruit, Meringue and cream. <laughs> Peppa and George add all the ingredients into the glass. Oh. And now you can decorate the top. Yay! Then decorate with wafers, colourful sprinkles and sauce. Here you are, ah, madam. This looks wonderful. <laughs> now everyone has been served, what kind of ice cream would you two like? Hmm. A rainbow one. Rainbow. Peppa and George use lots of different <laughs> coloured ice cream. Pink for strawberry, brown for chocolate, yellow for <laughs> banana. Nana. Then they add their toppings. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Let's mix it all together. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Peppa and George have mixed all the colours together. We've made a muddy puddle, ah. not rainbow ice cream. I'm afraid we don't have much ice cream left. All we have is... Vanilla! My favourite! <laughs> Peppa and George like making special ice creams, but they love vanilla ice cream the most. Whee! It is bedtime. Whee! But George isn't sleeping, so neither are Peppa or Daddy Pig. What now? We've already read every bedtime story. There is one book we haven't read. I've been saving it for an emergency. The very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. The very long and very boring story <laughs> to help sleepy pigs fall asleep? Yes, the very long and very boring story to help sleepy pigs fall asleep. Oh! <laughs> Dory! Once upon a time, there was a hero named... Super Peppa! <laughs> um, yes. 
super pepper. Whee! She spent all her days helping the people in her neighborhood. Uh -oh. Until one day she heard about a jumping giant who wouldn't stop shaking the town. The giant won't stop jumping. I'll help you. Super Pepper found the jumping <laughs> giant. Oh, yes, George, the jumping dinosaur. Super Pepper tried everything she could to stop the jumping dinosaur from jumping. Like asking him very politely? Yes. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Mr. Dinosaur, sir. Excuse me. They tried some bedtime music. This will put him to sleep. But the music only gave the dinosaur more energy. Super Pepper tried giving the jumping dinosaur a warm bath. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. She tried giving him cozy pajamas. She even tried counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. Everything we did. There's nothing left to try. <sighs> the bedtime story has helped George fall asleep. Hooray! Thank you for your help, Pepper. Sweet dreams. Thank you, Daddy Bert. Now I'm not tired. Can you finish <sighs> the story? Today, Mummy and Peppa have brought George Yay! to the doctor's for a checkup. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dr. Peppa Pig. <laughs> Hello, Dr. Peppa Pig. I'm Nurse Miss Rabbit. <laughs> and this is Dr. Brown Bear. Ready for your checkup, George? No! George <gasps> has never been to the doctor's before. He is a little nervous. Don't worry, George. The doctors just want to make sure you feel good. Exactly. Come on in and don't forget your little red book. <laughs> First, Miss Rabbit and Dr Brown Bear need to check George's height. <gasps> Step this way, please, George. No! But George isn't sure he'll like the height measurer. <laughs> How tall am I, Miss Rabbit? Wow! You're getting very tall, Peppa. You'll be a big grown-up soon. <laughs> George wants to know if he is very tall too. Wow! You're so big and tall, George. <laughs> now it's time to check George's weight. <gasps> with a special machine called Scales. <gasps> this machine will tell us how much you weigh, George. And it's really good <laughs> for bouncing. <laughs> George loves bouncing. <laughs> <laughs> and freeze. <gasps> mm hmm and unfreeze. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time to listen to George's heart with a special tool called a oh. stethoscope. Oh. This might be a little cold. <laughs> the stethoscope is very cold. Oh. Try this, George. <gasps> You can listen to my heartbeat too. George <laughs> likes listening to Peppa's heart. <laughs> Yay! You did very well today, George. <laughs> so you get a sticker. Oh. <gasps> <laughs> oh. Daddy, <sure. laughs> 
and one for Dr Pepper Pig for being so helpful too. Hooray! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> George! Tonight, George is having a sleepover with Edmund Elephant and Richard Rabbit. All right, everyone. Time for bed. Don't worry, Mummy. I'll make sure they all go to sleep. Thank you, Peppa. <laughs> Come on, then. Into your sleeping bags. Quick march. Peppa <laughs> likes being in charge. Well done, Peppa. Good night, everyone. Good night. <laughs> Only joking. <gasps> you can't go to sleep yet. There's lots of fun things you have to do first. <gasps> George has never had a sleepover before. He is very excited. First, we have to have a midnight feast. Ah! Ooh. Oh, you've turned into ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> I know a spooky story about ghosts. George, Richard and Edmund <laughs> love stories. This is a ghost story about a muddy puddle that wasn't muddy. Ahem! Paranormal apparitions, or ghosts as they're commonly known, do not exist. It is scientifically impossible. Uh... Edmund is a clever clogs. He doesn't believe in ghosts. Can I tell a story? Um, OK. Ahem. Once upon a time, there was a giant pig and a, a very small rabbit. Squeak, squeak, squeak. And they chased each other forever and ever. <laughs> the end. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good story. Oh, I've got another one. This one is about... George, Edmund and Richard have turned into ghosts again. <laughs> Silly George. Oh, do you know what's next? Yay! We have to stay up very late until, um, 100 o'clock. Ready? Oh. I don't think George understands sleepovers. <laughs> How's everything going, Peppa? They're fast asleep, Mummy. Well done. I think you've earned a midnight feast. Hooray! George and his friends like playing sleepover games, but they love to sleep. Peppa and her friends are going to play on the seesaw. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Is there a problem, Mr. Bull? Just finishing fixing the seesaw, Daddy Pig. <laughs> there, now it's safe as houses and ready to go. Hooray! Peppa loves playing on the seesaw. Will you play with me, Mr. Bull? It's fun. Me? Why not? It is fixed and ready after all. Whee! Ha ha ha! Well, that was fun. How are you going to get down? You need to go up so Peppa can come down. Oh, like this? Whee! <laughs> Mr. Bull is stuck at the bottom of the seesaw. Mr. Bull is a grown up and Peppa is small, so the seesaw won't balance. You need something heavy on Peppa's side. Blimey, how do you know that? I am a clever clogs. <laughs> right, oh then. Peppa's backpack will make ah. her heavier. Ah. <laughs> Mr. Bull is still stuck oh. at the bottom of the seesaw. I suppose it's good fun at the bottom, too. What a cracking view of the grass. 
<laughs> we need another grown-up to play with, Mr. Ball. Hmm. I wonder where we can find another grown-up. You're a grown-up, Daddy. Oh, yes, so I am. I'll play with you, Mr. Bull. Ah. Yay! Whoa. <laughs> Daddy Pig Whoa. and Mr. Bull are both grown-ups. So the seesaw is balanced and goes up and down. Stop! Are you not having fun, Mr. Bull? I'm having a brilliant time. I just wanted to see the view. Okie dokie, let's go! Whee! Up into the sky! Hello, sun! Hello, grass! Hello, clouds! <laughs> Hello, pepper! <laughs> Today, Pepper and her friends are at the park. They're about to have a scooter race. First to that tree is the winner. Ready? Steady. Go! <gasps> My wheel fell off. Oh, dear. <gasps> oh, excuse me, Mr Bull. Do you know how to fix my scooter, please? Oh, I definitely do. I know about lots about scooters. <laughs> Mr. Bull does mm. not know lots about scooters. Hmm, that doesn't seem right. Don't worry, I'm a bit of an expert at scooters. Daddy does know lots about scooters. Ta da! <laughs> oh, good old. Do you want to race scooters with us, Mr. Bull? Um, well, the reason I don't know a lot about scooters is because I've never ridden one before. <gasps> but it's so fun! Ooh. Yeah, you can go really fast. And it's much better than walking. Oh, my. That does sound fun when you put it like that. We'll teach you. Just put one foot on the scooter and push forward, like this. Seems simple enough. <gasps> Remember to push forward, Mr Bull. <laughs> hey, look at me! I'm scootering! Wahey! Yeah! <laughs> Turn with the handlebars. You mean like this? Whee! Yes! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Whoa. Oh, no! Mr. Bull doesn't know how to slow down. How do I stop? You need to use the brake, Mr. Bull. Brake? This bit? <laughs> Oh, my! How fun! I want to ride down the hill again! Yay! Yay! Scootering is so much more fun than walking! <laughs> Whee! 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 Pepper and Mr Bull are tired from going up the hill. <gasps> Going uphill is a bit more work than going down. Maybe I should go downhill again. Good idea. Whee! Mr. Bull loves riding scooters. Yeah! Everyone loves riding scooters. Gosh, what a frightfully loud horn. Today, <laughs> Peppa and her family are on a cruise ship. Hello, everyone. Welcome aboard. Are you ready for the safety tour? First mate Miss Rabbit has come to show them all the things that make the ship safe. I can't wait. I know a thing or two about boats, you know. I think I might have a tour of those sun lounges. Have fun. This way, everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Ooh. This big boat has lots of small boats hanging off the side. Ah. These are the lifeboats. 
If the ship stops working, we put on our life jackets and hop inside. Here's your life jacket, Peppa. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, well, here's yours, Grandpa Pig. Vroom, vroom, vroom. <laughs> no running on the deck, please. The floor on a boat oh. is called the deck. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. On with the tour. Follow me <laughs> up the stairs. Aye, aye, Miss aye, Rabbit. Aye, Miss Rabbit. These look like oh. big spinning spoons. They are the satellites. They tell the oh. ship which way to go. Are these giant mirrors, Miss Rabbit? Oh, <laughs> no, Pepper. These are... Well, they're... Um, what are they, Miss Rabbit? These are the solar panels. Our ship is powered by energy from the sun. Of course. Jolly good job, son. <laughs> One more stop on the tour to go. Time to head back down. <gasps> what a good idea, George. Hop in, everyone. Whee! 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 Ooh. This wow. is the bridge. Wow. This isn't a bridge, it's a room. The place where the captain drives a big ship like this is called the bridge. Oh, what do all these buttons do? I can answer that. I know a thing Ooh. or two about boats, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> this button turns the lights on. Whoops. <laughs> Um, and this lever makes us speed up. Oh. Whoa! Perhaps I ought to stop. Good idea. What does this button do? That's the foghorn. It makes a very loud noise that tells other boats we're nearby. Do you want to give it a push? Yes, please. <laughs> Gosh! Oh! <laughs> What a frightfully loud horn! Sorry, Granny. <laughs> Peppa loves exploring the cruise ship, but she loves the foghorn most of all. Today is Pancake Day at Peppa's Playgroup. Ah. It's an ice cream! Can we make other pancake pictures? Yes, we can! We just need more pancake mix. Yay! <laughs> Pepper pours flour into the bowl. <laughs> Candy Cat adds an egg to the mix. Wow! Danny Dog adds the milk. And Susie Sheep gives everything a good mix. <laughs> Madam Gazelle adds food colouring to the pancake mix so they can make colourful pancake pictures. Now we can draw any pancake picture we like in the cold pan before we cook the pancake. Can you add some pink here, Susie? <laughs> and some more over here? Wow! What, what is it? it? Uh-huh. Hmm. <laughs> What are you drawing, Madam Gazelle? You'll see. Now the pan will get very hot. So you must step back for this bit, children. <laughs> oh! Peppa! The pancake looks just like Peppa. I'm Peppa Pancake. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm really yummy. Can we make a rainbow next? Why, of course. Peppa and her friends add all the colours of the rainbow. Red. Orange. Yellow. Green. Blue. The rainbow pancake. <laughs> no, you haven't. All the blue has created a lovely blue sky. Can I help? Let's make the 
biggest pancake in the world. Hooray! Baking powder will give us the fluffiest pancake. Just a little will do. Madam Gazelle has added more than a little baking powder. The pancake is getting bigger and bigger. I'm not sure we can eat this, children. Aww. But it makes a great trampoline. Peppa loves Pancake Day. Everyone loves Pancake Day. <laughs> Whoa! Today, Peppa and her playgroup are on a trip to a bug museum. Follow me, everyone. <laughs> This room is all about ants. It even has some big robotic ants to look at. Don't worry, it's not a real ant, it's a big robot. Ooh, I love robots! Whoa! Ants work together as a team to bring food to their queen. Would you like to try being ants? Can I be the queen? Yes! Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Peppa's friends are racing against the ants. They have to get the foam leaf to Queen Peppa. <laughs> Whee! Yes! Hooray! Well done, everyone. You worked as a team just like ants. Ah. This room is all about bees. It even has bee <laughs> costumes for dressing up. <laughs> you look the bee's knees. Can you find your way through the beehive like real bees? <laughs> well, go. <laughs> Everyone loves being bees, but the beehive is very confusing. They're lost. <laughs> Bees follow the sun to find their way. Buzz! We can follow the sun too. <laughs> Everyone is following the sun to find their way, just like real bees. <laughs> Beautiful work, everyone. <laughs> the last room has something very special inside. Squeak! It's so pretty! But nobody knows what it is. Inside is something very colourful. Is it a parrot? Quack! It has big wings. Or a dragon? Rawr! And it used to be a caterpillar. Hmm. Whoa. It's a... <gasps> butterfly! Peppa and her friends love learning about all the bugs at the Big Bug Museum. <gasps> that car went really fast. Don't worry. This is why it's very important to stop, look, listen, and always wait for the green man before crossing the road. The green man! Remember what we learned, children? Stop, look and listen. All clear, no cars. Let's go. It's safe to cross now. Peppa and her playgroup are learning about road safety today. Hello, Daddy. Hello, Peppa. Peppa's playgroup. Hello, Daddy Pig. Oh, green light. Well, see you later, Peppa. Thank you for helping us, Police Officer Panda. All in a day's work. Peppa is helping Police Officer Panda make sure everyone follows road safety rules. Emily, you need to stay on your side of the road. 
sorry, Peppa. My wheel is stuck. We'll come help you. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. <laughs> We're keeping the road safe for cars and people. <gasps> Pedro hasn't noticed that Green Man has turned to red. Pedro, the red man means don't walk. <laughs> Thanks, Peppa. All in a day's work. <gasps> Wait a minute. Freddy is dressed as a robber. We have to catch the robber. Wee-oo, wee-oo, wee-oo. Oh, the red light means stop. There he goes. Now we've got him. Freddy, are you dressed as a robber because you are a robber? No, I just like stripes. Oh, so you're not a robber? Nope. Oh, well, you can go then, but not so fast. OK, bye, Peppa. Ooh. Great work, Officer Peppa. Everyone is remembering to stop, look and listen and only walk when they see... The Green Man! That means we can go! All in a day's work, Officer Panda. Peppa loves keeping everyone safe and everyone <laughs> loves feeling safe. <laughs> Today is sports day at Peppa's playgroup. There is a pink team and a blue team. They're trying to win gold medals. I'm going to win! Oh, oh. Whoops! Rebecca Rabbit is finding the sack race quite difficult. Yay! Hooray! Emily Elephant on the pink team has won the sack race. Hooray! You're so fast! Squeak! Oh no! I lost! You did your best! And we can still win! Oh. Now it is time for the egg and spoon race. Faster, Peppa! Squeak! But Peppa is finding it difficult to run fast and balance her egg. Slower, Peppa! Don't drop the egg! OK. <laughs> Slow down, Danny! But don't go too slow! Uh, slower! Faster! Slower! No faster! Phew! Squeak! <laughs> no! Phew! <gasps> <laughs> we did it! We won the race! It's a draw between the two teams. The next game is ring toss. Whichever team hooks the most rings onto the wooden stick will win sports day. That's one point for each team. Another point for each team. It's still a draw. Rebecca and Freddy, it's your turn. But if I miss, we'll lose. Oh, don't worry about winning. Just do your best. And have lots of fun. <laughs> We had a lot of fun anyway. You're right, Peppa. Well done, Pink Team. You get gold medals. <laughs> and the Blue Team did really well too. So they get silver medals. Wow! Hooray! 
The pink team and the blue team love sports day. Everyone loves sports day. Snap! Oh! Peppa is playing games with her friends. I love playing Snap. I keep winning. I don't like Snap. Peppa would quite like to win a game. Play snakes and ladders instead. Woohoo! Snakes and ladders. But I was winning. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I'm going to win. Two places. Now I get to go up a ladder. I'm right near the finish line. Now it's your turn, Rebecca. Yeah. <gasps> oh dear, Rebecca isn't going to win if she goes down the snake. I know. Let's play Marble Run. I love Marble Run. Marble Run! But I was going to win. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Yay! My pink marble is winning! I know! Let's play Pack the Parrot! Ooh! I love Pack the Parrot! But my marble is winning! It's going to pop up! I can't! Look! I know! Let's play Snap again. <laughs> snap! Snakes and ladders. Peppa and her friends like swapping games. In fact, they like swapping games so much, they've forgotten who is winning. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> but who won, Peppa? I think we all won. <laughs> oh, my word. <laughs> I think it might be time for a new game called Tidying Up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Peppa and Susie Sheep have decided to oh. wear their clothes backwards today. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Susie. Goodbye, Peppa. Oh. Hmm. Peppa, Susie, why are you wearing your clothes backwards? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and why are you walking backwards? Because today is backwards day. You say and do everything backwards. <laughs> no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> and Susie Sheep are chasing each other around the garden backwards. <laughs> You're it! Try to catch me! It's very difficult to play games backwards. Where did you go, Susie? Ooh. Coming! <laughs> oh. I know! Let's play backwards in the park! <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Bull is very confused to see Peppa and oh. Susie Sheep skipping backwards. Good morning. Why are you going backwards? It's backwards day. We have to do everything backwards. Is it backwards day already? <laughs> I'd better get my backwards drills ready. <laughs> oh. Whoa! Whoa! Oh. Whoops! Sorry! Peppa and Susie Sheep spend backwards day playing in the park. Backwards!
backward swinging feels the same as forward. But not all the games are as fun backwards. This is backwards. No, this is backwards. Let's play backwards frisbee. Catch. <laughs> Who would like an ice cream? Yay! Oops, we mean no! no! Oh! <laughs> I see you're having a fun backwards day. Ah. <laughs> I'm going to eat my ice cream backwards. Oops. <laughs> Upside down isn't quite the same as backwards. It's all very confusing. I think backwards day might be over now. Peppa and Susie <laughs> Sheep enjoyed backwards day, but they're very glad that things aren't backwards anymore. <laughs> Peppa and her family are watching a film at the cinema. Whoa. Mummy, I need to go to the toilet. OK, Peppa, we'll go to the one just outside. We're just going to the toilet. The toilet? Good idea. Shh! <laughs> Oops. Oh, dear. The toilet is closed for cleaning. But I really need to go. There's a public toilet just down the road. Follow me, everyone. Dinosaur. Peppa and her family have found a ah. toilet. Here's the toilet, Peppa. Let's join the queue. Mm. I'm afraid the queue starts over there. <gasps> but the queue for the toilet is very, very long. Sure, I can wait that long. Hmm. There's a toilet in the supermarket. Let's try there. Pepper, Mummy Pig, Daddy Pig, and George look everywhere for a toilet. They try the supermarket. Aha! Uh -huh. Ah! Oh! They try the zoo. Ah. Sorry, Pepper. This toilet needs fixing. Oh. They even try a toilet shop. Ooh, uh -huh. I'm sorry, but these toilets are for display purposes only. There are no toilets anywhere. <laughs> Oh dear, now I need the toilet too. So do I. <laughs> Look, the cinema toilet is open again. Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> Finally, Peppa and her family are back to watch the film. <gasps> but now the film has ended. <laughs> Looks like we'll have to watch it from the start. Does anyone need the toilet first? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. There, there. Today. Peppa has found a video of when she was a baby. <laughs> I was a very loud baby, wasn't I, Daddy? Ho, ho, yes. All babies are sometimes. Gosh, oh. that must have been when I was pregnant with George. Pregnant? What does that mean? <laughs> that means he was still in my tummy. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. <laughs> what are you doing, Peppa? Look, now there's a baby in my tummy too. Oh, <laughs> very good, Peppa. Now, what do people with babies in their tummies do? 
Hmm, I used to get lots of funny cravings, which are when you really want to eat certain foods. Mm. Mm. Yum! Peppa oh. has decided she uh, has a craving uh. too. I really want to eat... Oh! Spaghetti! <laughs> Peppa mm. thinks cravings are delicious. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah! That was very yummy. <laughs> what else happens when you have a baby in your tummy, Mummy? Well, I'd get tired a lot. So kind people would offer me their seat so I could sit down when I needed it. Hmm. <clears throat> Hello, Peppa. I have a baby in my tummy and I'm very tired. So you need to give me your chair, please, Daddy. <laughs> Gosh. right -o. here you go. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> and sometimes my feet would hurt. So Daddy Pig would give me foot rubs. <gasps> Peppa likes the sound of foot rubs. Daddy, my feet are hurting, so I need to have a foot rub, please. Oh, well, not a moment to lose. <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> a little here and a little Daddy Pig's foot rubs are more this like spot? foot tickles. <laughs> oh. oh! There's one more thing that happened when Mummy Pig was pregnant. What was it? Eventually, Ooh. a baby came. Auntie Pig has brought Baby Alexander for a visit. Hi, Baby Alexander. I was pretending I had a baby oh. in my tummy. But now we can pretend that you're my baby. <gasps> <gasps> Real babies are quite noisy, actually. So I think I'll keep my cushion instead. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Peppa and her family have been shopping at the supermarket. Goodbye, supermarket. Supermarket! <laughs> Is that a robot? <laughs> no, Pepper. It's a vending machine. You put money in to buy the food and drinks inside. Can we buy something from the robot, please? <laughs> OK. We can each choose one thing as a special treat. Yay! Yay! Peppa is very excited to buy something from the robot vending machine. Here you go, Peppa. <laughs> Goodbye, coin. Now, press the button that matches the thing you would like. I would like an orange juice. There it is. Hooray! Delicious. <laughs> Dinosaur. George has found a biscuit shaped like a dinosaur. Here you go, George. <laughs> now, press the button with the dinosaur. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> <laughs> I think I will have... Hmm, that drink. Oh dear, it's stuck. Daddy Pig's drink is stuck on a sandwich. The sandwich is in the way. Naughty sandwich. We'll need to buy the sandwich as well, so the drink will fall down with it. Oh. It's stuck again. Naughty pineapple. Ah, oh, let's buy that too. It's stuck again. Again. <laughs> the drink has finally fallen all the way down to the bottom. Goody! Yay! I can finally have my drink. <gasps> oh no! My drink has turned into fizz. Poor Daddy. Why don't you choose something else from the vending machine? Good idea. 
Oh, the vending machine is empty. That's because we bought everything. Phew! Wow! Oh, good day! What's this? What's this? Today is Arts and Crafts Day at Peppa's Playgroup. I have many fun <gasps> arts and crafts planned for today. First is painting. Ooh. But where are the brushes? They're right here. No one is sure what Madame Gazelle means. Where? <laughs> I don't see anything. We're doing finger painting. Instead of brushes, you paint with your hands. Hooray! Peppa and her playgroup are enjoying <laughs> making their finger paintings. A lovely flower, Peppa. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. What a wonderful butterfly, Susie. <laughs> Thank you, Madam Gazelle. <laughs> and Danny, that's a marvellous puddle. Thank you, Madam Gazelle. Danny is jumping in his painting just like a real muddy puddle. Ah, brilliant idea, Danny. We'll do face <gasps> painting next. Everyone is getting their face painted. Susie is a butterfly. Danny is a zebra. Freddy and Emily are a tiger and a fish. And Peppa is green. I'm green. <laughs> That gives me a fantastic idea. Madam Gazelle has brought over a big oh. canvas with tape on it. What's that, Madam Gazelle? Why, it's a beautiful picture, of course. But I don't see a picture. That's because it's not finished. Each of you take a bottle of paint and splatter as much as you like onto this canvas. <laughs> well done, children. Get messy, have fun, try not to spill on the floor. Everyone is having lots of fun painting on the big canvas. It's beautiful. I love it. Me too. Hmm. But I still don't see a picture. Aha! You will soon, Peppa. Madame Gazelle is taking the tape off the canvas. The tape has made the painting into the shape of... A star! A star! Peppa Hooray! loves 